Hi guys and gals, welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be covering how to slow down time in UE4. Uh, I haven't come up with a way yet to freeze time entirely. I know how to freeze time entirely as in pausing the game or also setting global time to zero, but that will make the player freeze as well. I so far haven't found um, any documentation on how to make that work properly. If I do and I can get that to work, I'll share that with you, but for now we're just going to be doing slow down time, so this is just going to be slow-mo. I'm using the first person template here because we have lots of physics objects that are just already waiting for us and this guy can shoot projectiles, which is going to help us see whether or not time is working in a really, really quick way. So we're going to head into the level blueprint here. And I'm going to right click and I'm just going to search for right mouse button. I'm going to bind this to right mouse. You can bind this to whatever you want, or if you want to, you can head to the edit project settings and then go to input. And you can give yourself an action mapping here. In fact, let's do that real quick. I'm going to action map this and I'm going to say slow mo. And then I'm going to actually find the right mouse. Oh, right mouse button and we'll close it down and if we go back in here if we delete this we can actually search for slimmer and now we can find our input so what we're going to do with this is we're just going to run this through a flip-flop which sounds funky flip-flop flip-flop so what flip-flop does is every time this receives an input it's going to go from the first pin to the second pin so first time we press right mouse it's going to do A, the second time we press it it's going to do B. It's easier than just putting a branch in here and checking variables and changing them. This is more, uh, more efficient. So what are we going to do? We're going to drag off of A and we're going to we're going to search for set global time dilation. And now this is set to 0, 0.0 right now which is froze so if we were to just quickly compile and we minimize it down we're going to play uh, now, I've already right-clicked uh, by mistake, so you can see now that that's not moving anywhere. The player can't move, but we can turn around. But yeah, you can see that that's, that's doing a thing. So we're going to go back into the level blueprint. <clears throat> and now if we were to change this to point 0.1, that makes it one-tenth of real time. So if we press play, and I just fire a couple of balls, if I right-click, now we've got slow-mo to 10% of real time. But that includes our character. So what we need to do is we need to right click, get player pawn, and from the return value of the player pawn we're going to set custom time dilation. Now I'm not sure if that was context sensitive, let's just quickly check, set custom, it's not context sensitive. So if you can't find this try turning off context sensitive up here, um, but you should be able to find it just fine. We'll put this in. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now, if we were to set this to 1, you'll notice that we get the same result. And now, the reason that we get the same result is because by default, this guy's custom time dilation is already 1, because that's real time, 1 is real time. So, to work out the maths so that your character still moves at the correct uh, speed while slow-mo is done, what you do is you'll take your custom time dilation time and you'll work out how much you'd need to multiply that to reach 1. So this is 10%, so if we multiply this by 10, we get 1. So we're going to have to multiply our custom time dilation by 10 because it's the custom time dilation of the character is getting divided by 10 when we're setting the global time dilation. So now, if we go back in, and I've already pressed it, there you go, now you can see that our character is uh, moving at real speed while these are flying about. Now, we can do this with any math, so if this is 0.2, then this would need to be 5. And we should get this exact same result here. There you go, you can see. Real-time player movement, but slowed down balls. <clears throat> Obviously, it's going to get a little bit trickier if you do like 
point three three because then we're gonna have to have three, but then we're gonna have like a leftover remainder of one all the time. So you're always gonna be a, a slight amount slower than you should be uh, with that kind of number. So try and keep these to numbers that you know that you can round up to one with multiplication. So how slow can we go? We can go really slow. We can say boink. Oh, that's a that's one hell of a a number, right? I think that's ten thousand. <laughs> He says, Whoa. <laughs> we got a little bit of a jump there. And the reason that we got a bit of a jump is because it's calculating the time dilation one before the other. So it's trying to compensate. So one way that we can do that in these extreme cases here is to just add a very slight delay. So we give this a very slight delay. Although I'm not sure if the del we'll find out. Let's find out together. Oh, there's the delay, and it hasn't quite reached yet. Yeah. So the delay is also going to be affected by the time dilation. So we actually want to set this to bleh, about the same, or do we? There we go. Yeah. So if you create a delay that's exactly like in, in cases where you fly forward like that, it's because of the compensation between the time differences. Your character for a split second is going to move super fast, like for, for one tick while it recalculates time, there's a chance that your, your character will have a global time dilation of one and a custom time dilation of 10,000. So if we add a delay in that lasts exactly one frame which is going to be the exact as this time dilation and we can make sure that that doesn't happen or at least in theory it shouldn't so how do we set this back i mean how, how close to frozen time is that pretty frozen i mean of course you can you can make that time way 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 slower in fact that might just be the best case i mean if we put in another two zeros and another two zeros and another two zeros whoa Ooh, I put in too many zeros put in too many zeros yep you have too many zeros oh you still have too many zeros ho ho did I accidentally put too many Hundred thousand. Uh, huh. Oh my, we've we're breaking everything now. Okay, there we go. Look at that, that's pretty much frozen time now. Nice. I mean, they're still moving ever so slightly, but it's going to take them forever to get anywhere. Um, so, not sure why that's done that, seeing as this 10,000 is not going to make the global ever reach 1. It's going to make it reach 0 0.001. Um, but, who am I to argue? Sometimes the engine does what the engine wants. So, to set this back, we're going to copy and paste this, plug this into the B and we're just going to set the set the time duration for global to 1, get rid of the delay and set the custom time duration to 1 for the player character and now if we go back in we can freeze time and then we can unfreeze it as well Oh, look at that, no threats were found on my PC. Thank you, Windows Defender. Alright, gosh, every... Alright, go away! Blimey. Mail has new messages. I know, you just told me. See, computers, they try to be helpful, but they're just invasive. Go away. Right. So that's how we can slow down time, guys. Um, that would work with any player porn, any kind of game mode, um, as long as you set it up properly. Um, and 
yeah, I'm just using the first person example, as I said, because it's it's quick to see the the actual the physics working. Like oh. Whoop. It's weird, right? Wee! Ho ho! <laughs> Interesting. Well, there you go. I mean, I said like I didn't know how to actually freeze time, and you know, just through experimentation, it seems that we've accidentally done it by just changing time to be so incredibly slow that time no longer cares. It's pretty cool. Right. That's that one. I will see you guys next time.